Hi guys! So I do not have strep anymore, thank goodness. Um, but I wanted to continue sculpting. Not that last video that I showed you, but I was going to grab the paints in my day. But going to continue with that, I'm going to do another one. So I will grab my supplies, they're all located right under this vanity, and then I will get back to you. Hi guys, so I have all my supplies, and the first thing you need is 16 millimeter wire. And you can get this at Lowe's, that's where I got mine. It's cheaper than craft store, because this can actually be used for armatures. Next I have is hot glue and the gun that is heating up right now. I have wire cutters, wire tools, everything you'd possibly need. Next, for clay, I have modeling clay. Clay tune for white, detail in the eyes for the wind. And then I have black plastilina clay left over. The tools I have, this to cut the clay, a match for indents and teeth, a needle tool, and a blender. Also, just a plain blending tool that also looks like it could be a smudge tool for drawing, but it's not. And then, I have styrofoam for body, and scissors to cut it. Now, let's get started!
I finished my armature and um, here it is. It's 3D mostly, so I can just basically slap some clay on there after I put styrofoam on it for shape and things. But yes, the feet, I have not detailed them yet. Sorry, I keep pulling off. Freaking. Shiznits. Alright, anyways. The legs, the, you know, area, which is attached with the butt, and then comes to the back. The stomach, it will be longer, of course. Little mound right there, and then up. Um, breasts are out there shoulders, things like that, and a 3D head. So yes, it looks about, it's like a 12 inch armature doll. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. <laughs>